Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Into the Breach, as today we are doing, as I promised, going to RST Corporation. A very desert-looking island, because of the fact it's a desert, but terraforming specialist RST turned the environment against the Vect and nearly destroyed their island in the process, so this is gonna be fun. Let's meet Jessica Kern. Last time we did the old Earth Artifact Island, this time it's somewhere different. Don't think for a moment I'm falling for the Time Traveler stories. But your mechs, they are undeniably impressive. So, a little bit of skepticism goes a long way. If she's willing to go scorched Earth in her land, then that's fine. So we do have two different types of shots here. We'll see how this works out. Not even sure exactly what smoke does. I have a, I have a hunch it's going to... Well, I have a hunch it's going to do a lot of things, but we have auto shields from the last episode as well. And Titan Fist, so we don't have Dash yet. That's something we can potentially unlock. There's an achievement behind it. But let's see our missions here. We have Lightning Point, which we can kill seven enemies and protect Coal Plant. We don't really need the power right now, so maybe we can go this way. Or we can go to Harden Point and defend the prototype refined bombs. Ooh, oh, Renfield bombs, excuse me. Let's try that, just because... It looks hard enough. These site holds two warheads designed to, by a temporal physicist, Dr. Renfield, utilizing your breach technology. Of course, yet she does not believe our time traveling stories. RST was deemed the safest place to test them. Fun. Well, look at that. Those bombs are uh, gonna have some problems. Do we know anything about the bombs? Cannot cannot be set on fire. Explosive death, dealing one damage to adjacent tiles. So. Not super exciting, but we can go ahead and set our stuff here. Uh, we could potentially have some good water damage going, so let's see. Do we have anything new? A beetle. Uh, charge forward and damage and push the target. And then we have our hornet, and we have our uh, firefly, who doesn't actually fly. So there we go. Uh, we'll put Ralph here, and... Uh, I guess the cannon mech here, and we'll drop our artillery back here for now. Might as well. So, what's going on? The mechs help us here. Dad, look! So, drop is successful. Alright. Well, that was certainly an exciting turn. We can travel through these bombs, so that's good. And right now, they're both threatened to be destroyed. I can punch this guy out, but the problem, of course, is that I don't want to punch him in a way that drops him into the water. So if we go over here, we should be able to punch him that way and end his sorry life. He is a flying unit, so they do not drown. It should say that flying units can move over any terrain tile. Then we have this guy, and this guy should be able to be pushed. So just so we don't screw this up, let's go ahead and artillery first. So your smoke bomb does two things, but we're not we're not really going to worry about that right now because that's not what we want. We want this. So smoke bomb does no damage, which could actually honestly be useful for some context. So we'll we'll experiment with that. But for now, let's do the moves we know we're gonna do. So that's fun. That water will clog its lungs in no time. Yes, it will, Ralph. Okay, now we don't have to worry about you getting shot. And I'll teach it to attack a water dominated planet. And we didn't block any of these guys from coming up, so hopefully that does not burn us next turn. Okay, we got another uh, a blast scion, so I imagine that's something different. He has a buff. Okay, we might be able to get some damage blocking here. So you're flying, so you don't actually anything you're on sand so we'll turn into smoke when damage pretending the unit from attacking so smoke immediately very useful because it can keep a unit from actually doing something so i like that a lot uh, right now we can buff the, bust this guy the passive effect is these guys explode so that's fun all right so it seems like the best move is going to be to i can do one of two things i can drop the tank here and shoot this guy this way and knock him down it's an Alpha Firefly, Explosive Decay, so Alphas have more health as you can see, but right now, oh and one thing I forgot to mention last time, we're on the second island, difficulty scales as you go up the island, which is why we have guys with four health now. Regardless, we know we're doing this move first, so let's go ahead and do that. It's going to actually create some smoke there, so units cannot attack or repair while they're in the smoke. 
Uh, let's see. I think our artillery position is fine. So if we pop them right here and shoot you this way. If you can't kill the mech with your weapons, the water will suffice. Yes, it will. And I think we're done. So let's end turn. You don't have any actions available, and I can't move you to block any of the other spawns. So that's fine. So we got another flying dude. Fortunately, flying dude moved in a decent direction. Ooh, we got some new stuff. All right. New things. Now, this is what I was talking about before. We could have some fun new strategies here. First off, I don't think I can kill this guy on my own. And we do want to be able to take this dude out over here. And we do want to be able to block some damage. So one thing we can do is we can prevent his attack, or we'll try for science. If we move you over here, this smoke should keep him from attacking. That's the goal, at least. We don't want to push anybody else right now. We just want to do this. So smoke, attack canceled. Good, that works. I love me some crowd control. Second, we can jump in the water, but you can't attack from the water. So if we go over here and then Falcon Punch. And we got a fuel promotion as well. So hooray. Um, this tank probably doesn't need to do too much. I could repair him. But I feel more inclined to... Sh no, I feel more inclined to repair. Because if I shoot right now... I mean, I could go up here, but I'd rather block the enemy. Let's go ahead and repair Sounds good. Nothing like a little grease and spit won't fix. Yes, we're in the future. So there we go. Well, Bastard's not going anywhere. We got our other Firefly. So that smoke's persistent, which is pretty good. Well, we win. We have victory in one turn. All we gotta do now is just get some promotions, which neither of these guys fly. So that should be fairly straightforward. If we go right here, let's make sure we can stop his attack again. So attack canceled, that smoke will slow the Vec. So already a worthwhile investment. So you're dead. You're dead. Not bad. Victory in one turn, no new spawns. We sent the Vec packing, hopefully they don't come back and nothing was damaged, hooray, good job. So we got more promotion, excellent. Both prototypes survive intact. I can order Renfield and his team to move on to stage two. And we got plus one mech reactor. Piloted mech reactor increased by one. So we got two new places. Let's look over here. He's got one additional power. Ugh. Okay, so we want to be able to give ourselves dash. The question is, do we dash now? I kind of like the ability to move. So if I... I don't think I can un no, I can't uninstall the reactor. So I guess for now, if we get another reactor point, we'll give it to him. I like this. Okay, sorry about that. For some reason, my recording window spazzed out when I switched menus, so I'll have to watch out for that. But regardless, this is a pretty good combo for either way. So we can play a little more defensively, or if we need to push a lot of things, we can do either. But being able to cancel attacks is nice. So next place, turbine cluster. Defend the train again, or Dead Bird's Field, which has a lightning storm. Uh, block Vec from spawning three times, and get some light, and get some possible energy, or defend the train again. Uh, let's do lightning storm, just because it's new, even though I'd rather get the reputation. I mean, at the end, ooh. No, I may dodge the lightning storm for now, because I want to see if I can get up to this mission. If I go one, two, three, I should be able to get it. All right, so this maglev track is one of our last engineering supply lines. My people rely on it for supplies, and without it, well, without it, we have a good day. All right, so we got blast scion, which means there's damage all around when you kill things. Don't like that. Hornet and pincers that like to chargey charge. And this time, they, uh... They really have room to do this here, so 
We can get some smoke up here. Fortunately, all of our little villages are over here. We'll keep our... Uh... I don't really want my tank to get charged immediately, but... I want to set my artillery back here. Let's give this a shot. My goal is to get this guy down. So one of your time pods appears in the sensors. Perhaps one will shed truth on why you're really here. Oh, I think every pod means a timeline died. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Well, we got some excitement to start off with, so we're definitely going to punch this guy. We're definitely going to get out of the way of the charge. And if he charges out here, that'll put him in vulnerable position for next turn. So we know we have to do, we know what we have to do, which is get, we don't have to get that, but we have to punch this guy out. So that's going to create some smoke, no more explodey bugs. Next is to move you, and he, we have to actually move him off the train. So how would we best affect that? Probably by shooting right here. Because that gets him, that gets them all to move. It means we're not necessarily going to kill people, which is a little annoying. But we don't have a way we can shoot and kill this guy and hit that guy with our current slate of abilities. So let's go over here. Try this on for size. I think that'll do. Okay. And we cannot block the tile, so let might as well just go ahead. Well, you know, I can't kill him, so that's probably better. Oh, he's going to go all the way over there. That could be a problem. Okay, well, we'll knock our artillery down the one. We'll see if we regret this later. So he hit nothing. He should have gone all the way off the map, but he didn't. So we have our... New guys, that's threatened. That's also threatened. Okay, you're not gonna be able to do anything out of the smoke, I guess. So how do we wanna do this guy? We could just cancel his attack. Or we could make him go over here. The problem is that means he will absolutely charge next turn. All right, so these alphas are gonna be Kind of annoying. Let's see if we can come up with a way to do this without everybody dying. So we can just move out of that alpha's way. I guess. We want to get him out of the picture. So we could probably artillery him down this way. Which means this guy, we could shoot him into the rocks and do two damage. So what do we do with you? Do we just block? I mean, unfortunately, if you look at the Alpha Firefly, he does three damage. So we can't really afford to take that hit. As nice as it is to soak up other things. Our number one priority is the train. Is there any other way we can do this? I mean, I could damage my own guy, but this seems probably the best thing. So we'll damage that mountain a little bit. And if we put you over here, put you a little bit at risk. Once again, move you around. And might as well just tile block. I don't want to stand in the smoke if I can avoid it. That'll have to do. Not, not the best. I can't field repair from this far away, can I? Nope, I gotta be, I gotta be adjacent. All right. Ooh, I should really upgrade damage when I get a chance, cause these guys are getting beefier. Okay, are you going for the, you're going for the village. You're going for that. Well, that's fun. So. Hello, all of you crackles. We don't have anybody else spawning. All the train has to do is survive one more turn. Ugh. 
So either we take an energy damage or um, we lose the objective and lose the train. So I am sorry, civilian building. Maybe our 20% defense will hold. Unless I can do something dumb. The problem is I've got four people here. Three of them are attacking the train. And I am not 100% sure how I can stop them unless... Hmm. The only possible way would be like to do something where I use my artillery to hit some of these people. If I use this tank to shoot this hornet, it knocks him into there, he dies. I can punch him out, he dies. Yeah, I'm not really seeing it. I, I kind of put myself in a position where this is why you want to clean out the enemies as much as possible. So we're going to lose one power grid. We should be able to get it back in another mission. That's why we have this stuff. Casualties of war and all that. If there's a move, by all means, tell me. And ooh, ooh, problem. Problem with the plan. Problem with the plan is that we cannot execute the plan. Okay, so who attacks when? Okay, you alpha hit here. You shoot for three, so you can kill this guy. And if we move you up here and punch over here. Yeah, so that guy that guy can die. Alright. So if we use the enemy's talents against them, maybe this can work. What I'll have to do, though, is actually rely on my life force here. Because I can pew pew all the way home down here. How do I do this? I may have to, I may reset this turn one time. So if we punch, we know we're going to punch here. We know we're going to knock this guy down here. Yeah, see, that, that my thinking before is I thought I saw something for a second where I could address this guy with another unit. So if I push him up here... Yeah, I've just got... It's three attacks on the train. That's the devil. Yeah. Guess this is what we're doing. Sorry. Sorry, civvies. So you're gonna die, you're gonna die. Let's go ahead and punch here. Oh look, we did it. Okay, I did that in the right order. So I, I love stumbling upon the solution. That's uh that's why that's why we play these games. So I, my brain was a little bit ahead of me. And I didn't quite articulate it correctly. I could smoke here just for, uh, just to cancel the attack. All right. So we're relying on our attack order to do this. Let's see if we calculated this correctly. Enemy turn. So pew pew, train's alive. Nobody took damage. We escape. I can't believe it. The Rift Walker saved all of us. All right. Excellent, the train made it through. We lived to fight another day. So I got a time pod and some extra stuff. And what did we get? Reactor core? Oh, reactor core. Oh, and a uh, Archimedes, a, our first other unit here. Plus two mech HP, move again after shooting. Requires one of these power. So that's really cool. We have a new pilot. You can assign them in the upgrade screen here. So we have Kirby with two mech HP. Uh, fairy with uh, three defense. I think you're doing fine. If anything, I kind of like the two mech HP to go down here. So let's... Well, how do I switch? Oh, I just hit the rename button. Hmm. Maybe it's between missions. I don't know. This is one of those things where it's like, yeah... 
I'll have to look this up after I record this video. Like I said, I should know. Unknown skill locks the skill. We're just going to check menu real quick just to make sure. Option save and quit. Abandoned timeline. Well, don't want to do that. We're doing good. Ugh, okay. Well, we still got we still got a cool guy here. We do have one reactor core. So instead of the two health here, let's go for dash. There we go. So we can go all the way across the field in a straight line now. That's pretty good. So we want to go up here. We're going to go to Crater Bay. Really annoying. It's just like click here, click, click, click. Don't know. I just, I just don't know right now. This is one of those, oh, storage. Durr, okay. Move again after shooting, requires one power. And it requires a reactor to uh, have his ability. So. Yeah. So right now, no special ability. But at least he still works, right? I prefer the, uh, that damage. I'm so dumb! There's a whole storage thing on the right. Cool. Let's do Crater Bay. Do not kill the Volvo Vec and protect the emergency batteries. Well, that's pro Well, yeah, I did say I wanted to go up there, so let's try this. The, these Volvo Vec are living bombs. Don't kill it. Drive it away before it turns the region into a crater. Cool. All right, so where's our Volvo Vec? It's this one. It explodes on death, dealing one damage. It will turn to smoke and damage, preventing the unit from attacking. It has four health, so we don't have to kill it. We can just pin it down with artillery and uh, more explodey damage and uh, Alpha Hornet. Two tiles in front of it, so that's probably our biggest threat, but we do need to start over here, so we'll put our tank over here. I kind of don't like being stuck on the other side of the map. So, help is here. RST sent max, so drop successful. That's fun. Okay. Ah, you get bonus objectives mission is to not let this Vec die. Well, I guess we don't have to. I can punch you out first, and I can shoot at him and put him over here. And uh, that'll be okay. So I guess for this one, I can just shove him to the right and stop. So we can stop all the spawns. That's great. So let's start here. Play it nice and careful. And then over here. I know I'd love for you to be able to move and shoot him. So that's going to block a spawn. He's going to be at two health. Ooh, wrong. Almost a misclick. We should be able to. Let's see. We can. We also get some push by firing on here, but we want to move you this way. Cool. Seems like a decent turn when we can be up and actually have more than the enemy. Although the, those mountains are not long for this world. So there's our emergency batteries up there. Okay. Okay. Did I not equip my dash? I feel like I did. Alright. So we can punch him over here. I think I'm just going to have to rely on smoke for this guy. Because I really, I really don't want him to go explode. But I would like to block one of these. So I'm not sure how much further I can move. Let's test. If I have to reset the turn, that's okay. Alright. Test! Okay, can't do it. Alright, well... This is going to be problematic because that's going to lead him to go the other way. Let's reset. You can do this once per battle. So that's what terraforming time feels like. Yes, it does. Okay. So 
So I do want to keep this guy over here, and I want to keep this guy over here. So let's. All right, how do we want to do this? We got three turns, and unfortunately, we've got a lot of buddies coming. So if I just park it here, that seems all right. And I guess, you know, I can't just fire again. I don't want to do damage to him, so we'll just, we're just going to let these mountains die. Seems all right. It'll, it'll have to be all right, I guess. All right, in turn. He doesn't need a repair. Well, he will next turn. All right. So mountains down, mountains down. Block the enemy. We got Vec on the field. Okay, so. This is gonna be fun. Hmm. So I can punch you. Smoke you. Not literally. Um, I just want to know why I'm not using dash. I mean, I feel like... Uh, I feel like there's a button I should know how to use. So let's see, if I go from right here... Okay, I can, that's how you dash. Interesting. Okay, or we can dash this way, this way. Okay. Seems good enough. Alright, so we have to smoke this guy. And how much damage do you do? Just one, right? Yeah, just one. So you're free to move. So I kind of like keeping this guy behind the mountain right now. We'll just have to cancel this attack. And that's actually, we're going to push you over into the smoke. I'd rather not. But I don't really want to expose this guy to getting surrounded. Looks like we got one or two more spawns coming. Looks like there's not a lot I can do about that right now. So, okay, we'll just have to deal with it. All right. Smoke it up. Oh wait, what did I say before? I did not want to have to deal with uh, that issue, so attack canceled. We got you coming. I guess we just tank this hit, and we're gonna we're gonna have a lot of company next turn, so. Might as well take the shot. Okay. Almost, almost did not attack. All right, so you're dead. Pew pew for nothing. Okay, Dern, our luck's run out. This looks terrible. Well, we are in quite a pickle. The good news is that everybody wants to attack this thing. I can push him into the smoke, potentially. So I can kill this guy. I need to protect the emergency batteries, I guess. We don't want this guy to die. So if we don't want him to die, our only move is to let the civilian building get hit, which is not very good.
So we can prevent a lot of damage by doing this. Uh, all right, well, looks like we're taking one building damage. That's annoying, but we'll live. All right. I don't even know if I can get a shot. Like, if I fire like this... That's not going to kill him. That moves him into the smoke. For you... That'll cause all kinds of explosions. So I guess we know we got to do this. All right. Well, the Vec lives, I guess. Yeah, it's too bad. Can't manipulate the turn order very well when this guy goes before this guy, because otherwise I could shove him over there. Which I guess is what I'm going to do anyway, so... That unfortunately means this building still gets hit. Cannot do. Cannot fire the artillery next to me, so. Let's just use the smoke. Oh well. We take damage, we get one back, I guess, right? We take two damage. Ooh. Oh well. So, the building was damaged, so your city power grid was affected. And we have an energy shield, so only direct damage will remove the shield. Non-damaging negative effects have no effect. So he's going to get two damage, which stinks. And we get a little bit of experience. So. Could have done that a little better. But hey, mission complete. So I read the casual reports. My pleasure reports that Vecker in the top percentile. So yep, she doesn't care about her people dying. I hate that I didn't save as so many civilians. And sorry about the blurb in the middle there with uh, the recording, but that's the way it goes sometimes. But we're going to call this an episode here as we have the Blast Bunker next. High Threat Detected. Uh, protect the Robotics Lab, kill seven enemies, and defend the Earth Mover. That'll be fun. But we're going to save that for the next video. That's it for now. This is Asher. Thanks for watching. This is Into the Breach, available on Steam for $15. 1515. It's a lot of fun, and if you have any thoughts, feel free to let me know in the comments, especially about some things I could do to maybe clean up my play a little bit. But hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.